our next step is going to be planetary association. And this is something that's very important. You're going to have to remember this because we're going to use it later on as we start looking at charts and learning how to read them in a different light. So it's very, very important to remember now which sign and which planet are associated. There is a primary association and a secondary association. Secondary association does not mean it's lesser. It just means that if push comes to shove, the primary will be a little bit more stronger than the secondary one. We're going to start with the sign of Aries. Here we see the glyph of Aries. Looks like a little palm tree with two frogs sticking out of it. And it's associated with Mars. Mars is a very aggressive energy, and it likes to get out front and do its thing. It is president of the I, Me, Mine Club. Here we have the secondary association here, the second house is with Venus. Venus and Taurus are associated with one another. If you see Taurus, you're always going to look for Venus. If you see Aries, you're always going to look for Mars. This is the way we do astrology. Gemini is associated with Mercury, but Mercury is a secondary association to uh, Gemini. And this is because Virgo has a stronger association Mercury is exalted, really strong in Virgo, where it's not as strong in Gemini. It's something to remember, but we'll cover that later again. The moon is associated with Cancer. And always Cancer and moon are the two that are associated with one another. If you look for Cancer, you always look for the moon next. Leo is associated with the sun. And again, whenever you look at Leo, you always want to see where the sun is. The next association, like we mentioned, is Virgo. And Virgo here is associated with Mercury as a primary association. Libra and Venus are associated with one another, but notice that Venus is a secondary association. Venus with Taurus is a first primary association. doesn't mean it's lesser. It just means that this is a day association. This is a night association. Scorpio is a very strong association with Mars. So Mars and Scorpio are associated with one another. This is the primary association, very strong, very powerful. This is very strong, very powerful, but this is the this is the nighttime association. Sagittarius is associated with Jupiter. So these two are always, if you see the sign Sag, you always want to look for Jupiter to see where it is. Capricorn is associated with Saturn. So whenever you see the sign Saturn, the next thing you want to do is look for where Saturn or Capricorn, you want to see where Saturn might be. Aquarius is also associated with Saturn, Saturn being the secondary association to the Aquarius. Pisces is associated with Jupiter, and Jupiter is secondary association with uh, Pisces. Jupiter is the primary association with uh, Sagittarius. Now again, like I say, the primary association and the secondary association is just a way of looking at it. Uh, they're all associated within the same light. But it's just important to recognize that these associations, some are a little bit more aggressive than others. Scorpio is a little more secretive. This is a more open. This is a much more loving and caring, uh, nurturing type of Venus. This is an association Venus, like good, good company, good friends, good parties, different things, different ideas that, that uh, we will cover and uh, eventually start exploring within the chart as we read this. Now, remember... Take note of this. This is very important to recognize and what the associations are and how we're going to use them later. If you have an astrology book, make note of this. Copy them down so you have them at ready for referencing a little bit later. Okay? Make sure you got this down now.